welcome to our online art lesson. Today we are going to be talking about the famous painting, The Scream. The Scream was painted in 1893 by Edvard Munch. One day, Munch and a couple of friends decided to go for a walk along the water. Suddenly, the sky turned red and angry and he felt what could be described as a scream of nature. When he looked at the sky and the water, the colors of the sunset reminded him of blood and he became very anxious. The main figure in the screen represents Monk's anxiety and nervousness. You can even see his two friends in the background of the painting. This painting is important because if instead of focusing on skill or beauty, Monk focuses on using colors, shapes, and lines to paint an image of his feelings. Today we are going to learn how to replicate the famous work of art by Edvard Monk, The Scream. So to create our version of the scream, you're going to need three things. First, you're going to need a piece of paper. Next, you're going to need something to draw with. I'm using a Sharpie, but you could use a pencil, marker, crayon, whatever you happen to have. And then something to add color. I'm using my watercolor set, but again, you can use whatever you happen to have. So our first step is down here in the corner, we're going to draw sort of a peanut shape. This is going to be our person's head. We're going to add his hands. So in the screen, his hands are long and sort of wavy. So we're going to add two more wavy lines on either side of the head. So now it kind of looks like a peanut with ears. So we have our head and our hands. Now we're going to draw the rest of his body. So underneath the hands, we'll draw two long U shapes for his arms with some sleeves at the top. This is like the cuff of his sleeve. And we're going to draw a wavy line for his shirt and a little v-neck where his shirt cuts off around his neck. So we have our head, our hands, arms, body, and now we're going to add his face. So in the screen, his face is very long and drawn out. So we're going to draw two long circles a little rainbow shape for his nose, and then a long open mouth. And there is our person. So now from here we're just going to add in our background. So if you look at the back of the screen, it's sort of like he's on a bridge on top of the water. So in the middle of your paper on this side, we're going to draw a straight line that goes downwards. And then starting at the same point, we're going to draw another line. And don't go through your person. So this is going to be our bridge, and then we'll add our water and our sky back here. So on our bridge, we're just going to add a few details, some lines going straight up and down. These are kind of like the handrails of the bridge, and then maybe a few lines like this for the little boards on the bridge. So now we have our screen, we have our bridge, and now right above this point we're just going to draw a wavy line. This is like where the water is. And in the water we're going to draw some wavy shapes. This implies that back here this is all water. So we have our Green man, we have our bridge, we have our water. Now the only thing we need to do is add the implication of a sky. So if you want a sunny sky, you could draw a sun. I'm going to draw a moon by doing like a backward C and then one on top. And then I'm just going to draw some swirly lines in the sky. Kind of like Van Gogh's Starry Night. then it looks like it's a windy night. And there we go. There we have our drawing of the screen. So now all that's left to do is add in our color. So I'm going to speed it up real quick while I go in and add color and then we'll bring it all back and we'll get started.
And there we go. There is our finished screen painting. So first we went in with our lines to replicate the original, and then we went in with our color to fill it in. As you can see, I did my sky sort of orange and yellow up here, even though it's the moon. The moon is out, so it's nighttime. Um, I did this because I was replicating the original, because if you look at the original, the sky is orange and yellow, and I wanted to give it sort of a surreal look. So, as always, when you finish your art project, make sure you send me an email with a picture of it, because I would love to see it, and I'll put my email down below. So, happy creating, and I'll see you next time.